today I'm going to be showing you how you can maximize your Monero profits by merge mining it with another coin. A lot of people don't realize that Monero can actually be merge mined with other coins, uh, in particular Bible Pay, which is a kind of a donation uh, type crypto that was created back in 2017. I'm not going to go over the details of it. Uh, it is a charity coin. Just keep that in mind. Uh, if you don't want to support it, completely understand. However, essentially the way this works is you send your hash power to a mining pool. And what they do is they'll forward your hash to another mining pool as long as those coins kind of started off on the same algo with the same genesis block, you're able to, what is essentially submit the same hash to multiple blockchains and essentially get a share and potentially find a block with using that same hash. This is the same process that has been in Bitcoin forever and also uh, is what Litecoin and Doge use and that's why you're able to merge mine those. Now, you're not going to double up your profits, but they're going to be probably around an additional 30% with Bible Pay. And I'll, I'll walk you through kind of how to figure out what that will be. Uh, but the first thing we want to do is we need to identify a Bible Pay mining pool that we're going to mine to. The way these work is you're going to send, you're essentially going to set up your miner to mine random X. You can either you know, set it to Bible Pay or Monero. You're going to set your username to your Bible Pay username. And then you're going to set your password to your Monero account, Monero address. And it's going to forward that onto the Mine XMR pool. So to get this set up, we're going to head on over to Mining Pool Stats. And here you can see there are currently three uh, Bible Pay pools. and I've been mining Bible Pay merge mined with XMR uh, on and off since probably 2020 or 2021 around that time frame and I've used all three of these pools uh, as you can see there are some API errors however the pool hash rates all still work uh, for me today I'm going to be using uh, this pool the top one which is based in Hawaii and you're going to notice all the pools are based in the U.S., so just keep that in mind. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hop over to this pool. And we're going to go to get started. We're going to scroll down. You can read the information. They have some legal stuff there. Just hit I agree to the above terms. And then it'll give you the commands that you need to run. Uh, in particular, what we're looking for here is the pool address. And so that's going to be this right here. This is really all we need to get started. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to hop on over to HiveOS. And I'm just going to copy one of my flight sheets that I have. And then we're going to go ahead and edit that. And I'm going to add in an additional miner. So in this case, I'm mining lithium. I want to also mine on my CPU that I have on this system. So as I mentioned, you have two options. Either you can choose XMR here, or you can choose Bible Pay. I like to do Bible Pay just because I'm mining to a Bible Pay pool. So do Bible Pay. Go ahead and select your address. Now, one thing I will say is uh, Bible Pay and Monero are both on the Self Exchange pool. They're also both on TXBit. Uh, I prefer Self Exchange. I've been using it for a very long time. So I'm just gonna I'm just mining to the exchange in this case and there are no pools selected in HiveOS so just do configure in miner and for our miner we're going to use xmrig new go ahead and do setup miner config in the password we're going to put our bible pay address so for us since we selected that as our coin we can just do percent wal percent that'll macro that in and then what we're going to do is we're going to have to put in our Monero address in here. So we're going to do our address, just do xxx dot, and we're going to do percent worker underscore name percent. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab my Monero address 
and plug that in. All right, we've pasted in the Monero address. And now we want to turn on CPU. We want to make sure that we have our GPUs off. Make sure those are turned off. And for CPU huge pages, uh, they recommend 1248 for random X. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And for our pull URL, we need this. We're going to go ahead and put that in. Let's go ahead and say apply. And I'm just going to call this uh, merge mining demo. We're going to go ahead and say update. And I'm going to launch this flight sheet on this rig that I'm on. And this specific rig does have a 5950X in it, as well as a few A2000s. So we'll be mining lithium on the A2000s. And we should be merge mining Bible Pay and Monero on the 5950X. If we give that a refresh, we can see that we are now mining uh, Bible Pay at approximately 14 kilohashes per second. So what we can do now, and you may need to wait about an hour for this to re reflect on the pool. But if we hop on over to the pool and we go to Miner Info. And in here, if we put our Bible Pay address and hit Run Report, what you're going to see is you're going to see basically every block and what your reward for that block was. And you're going to see what your current um, average round shares are, which mine are averaging about 1.74%. And I'm essentially getting around 11.35 Bible Pay per block. So every block that's found... As long as I have a share in that block, I'm typically averaging around this. Uh, my pending rewards are currently 79.43 Bible Pay. And here you can see all those pending transactions. And if we scroll down, we can see these are all blocks that I have found. Now, one thing you're going to notice, these are all from 2022. I haven't hit any blocks personally myself lately, which is why uh, pretty much everything is pull mined with Bible Pay. Now, if you want to figure out how many coins that you would typically make, they do have a calculator for that. So if we hop on over to this mining calculator section, it's going to default to 10 kilohash. We know that we're getting around 14 kilohash. So I'm just going to plug in 14. I'm going to leave the rest the same. This all defaults off of the current network. And I'm going to go ahead and hit calculate. And here we can see my daily revenue. And again, this is just for one CPU. Would be 1,360 uh, BBP or Bible Pay. And monthly it would be 4,803. This is on top of the XMR. If we hop on over to support XMR, we can just go to supportxmr.com. And here in the middle where it says your Monero address, if we go ahead and paste in our Monero address. Here we can see that we do have one worker online. It's our GPU server. It's still kind of ramping up. And so uh, right now the detected Monero hash rate is 10.6 kilohash. This should ramp up to around 14. Um, but here we can see our balance of 0.0021. And my valid shares, my total hashes, all of that. As if we were normally mining to support XMR. And so essentially what's happening here, if we go ahead and click on here, we can see that kind of that same breakout. But what is happening is it is mining to that Bible Pay pool. That pool is forwarding our hash on along with our wallet address to support XMR. And we are essentially hashing both coins at the same time. And here you can see it's now at 10.8. If you give it time, it'll ramp up and it'll essentially equal your full hash rate. So now if we hop on over to a calculator, so let's go to what to mine. And I like to go to the coin section and type XMR. And here uh, we can, this is in kilohash, so we just want 14 here. Uh, I'm just going to ignore power for now. We're going to go ahead and calculate this out. 
And it looks like right now we should be making 38 cents a day just on the Monero side. And then if we hop back over to the uh, mining calculator for Bible Pay, we're looking at around 1,360 coins. So we can go ahead and hop on over to Coin Market Cap. Scroll down. And 1,360 is around 14 cents. So essentially you can add 14 cents onto that. And that is kind of what you can expect. Which, you know, we're looking at, uh, what, 52 cents a day versus the 38 cents a day. And so that's putting us right around a 25 to 30% increase in our mining rewards. And one of the nice things about Bible Pay is it does have very frequent payouts. It'll essentially clump together a bunch of your block rewards and send it out to you. You'll get frequent transactions uh, coming into your wallet. The more hash rate you throw at it, obviously the more coins you're going to get. Uh, but it is a way to add you know, additional coins without really sacrificing anything. You know, There's no other power difference. There's nothing like that. If you're already mining Monero, it just makes sense to also, you know, merge mine Bible Pay and take advantage of that additional coin. If I hop over to South Exchange here, you can see that I do have 541 in my wallet, uh, which is right around five cents. So we do get those payouts coming in. And then with Monero, uh, the payout threshold's a little bit higher. However, at any time you can change that threshold. Um, and you can just do a manual withdrawal uh, if you want to. And so for me, right, I currently have 0.0128 XMR sitting in my support XMR uh, pool. And that's because my threshold is set to 0.1, which is a pretty high threshold, for especially just for one CPU. But you can do an on-demand payment by clicking this. It would immediately send it to self-exchange. Or I can adjust this threshold. And it's as simple as that.